be like, no. Well, good morning. Good morning, everybody. We are here today to work on our Facebook studio and our creator suite. So, woohoo! Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and admit a couple other people. We're going to be adding people as we go. I'm going to start my screen share. We're going to go here first. And first, we're going to start here. Let's see, here's slideshow. And we're going to talk a little bit about, oh, admit Rafe. There's Rafe, who's right next to me, but now he's here too. We're going to talk a little bit about the Creator Studio, and it's for Facebook as well as Instagram. So first off, did everybody do my Facebook Instagram where you changed your Instagram to the Creator? Instagram set up, not a personal Instagram. Because if you hadn't done that, you can't do this part of the Instagram creator studio, which is okay, because you could do it later, but um, this part won't work for you. You did it, because you were in my class. <laughs> right, yeah, Trish? And yeah. I haven't done it. I you know what, you want me to do it really quick? I'll do it for Susan. <laughs> Any of you, let me, let me stop the share real quick. Let's do this real quick. Any of you who missed that portion, we're going to do it real quick on your phones. If you had not done it, anybody out there who hadn't done it with me, we're going to switch your Instagram over to a creator Instagram really quickly so we can get uh, the most out of this class today. So whether you are a personal Instagram, a business Instagram, or a creator Instagram, you're, first of all, your people don't know. Okay. Second of all, um, I always thought because Facebook and Instagram are owned by the same people, right? We know that. Mm -hmm. And on Facebook, your personal does so much better than the business. I always sort of thought that on Instagram, it'd be the same. Wrong. It's opposite. Totally strange. So on Instagram, if you are a personal profile, you actually do so much worse. So unless you wanted to keep your personal profile for things just personal, you only want to share family photos to family or something like that, in which case I'd say add another account. But if you want to use it for lead capture at all, you need to have a professional account. So Susan, are you okay? Um Perfectly. Okay. So if you want, hey, Amanda, if you want to have a professional account, there's two kinds. You can have a business account or you can have a creator account. Again, whichever kind you have, your public has no idea. They can't tell. So I'm going to tell you, do not bother with the business account because the creator account, we're just kind of recapping here, Amanda, real quick. The, the creator account not only gives you so many more opportunities, but it gives you the chance to use the creator studio as well as access to their music. They turned off the access to their music when you used their reels last week. I knew that was going to happen <laughs> if you're a business account. So for those of you that didn't change, uh, you have to log in because I talked too long and lost it. Okie dokie. We're going to go into from your Instagram. You're going to click on your little face in the bottom right. Then we're going to click on the three lines on the right hand side. And we're going to click on settings. And then we're going to click on account. And then we're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to say, Oh, you must have a personal one. Add new professional account. You have a personal one. Oh, I did not even know what I had. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to add yours. Okay. Continue, continue. We're going to make you an entrepreneur because why not? Because <laughs> <laughs> she is, right? She's an entrepreneur. I love that about her. And that's your name. Oh, you need your password. Okay. I can't create her password because, you know, then she won't be able to get in and that'd be a bigger problem, right? So let's let her, Susan, create her own. Everybody else doing it with me? Anybody have questions? Everybody done it already? Anybody from, oh, you have to add your, oh, I don't know your birthday. All these, all these, I mean, I do actually. I have access to all this information because it would take me a while to look for it. <laughs> Isn't that scary? I know everything about you guys. Just kidding, I really don't, but I can look things up. All right. That's Cindy. I don't know everything about her. By the way, her Facebook <laughs> file is false. So when it says her birthday, it's a lie. That's mm -hmm. not even her birthday. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. And it doesn't even have her name on there, by the way. <laughs> She's the worst. <laughs> okay, let's see. Miss Susan has to like add all this information. Okay. All right, moving on. Moving on, Miss Susan. We good? 
Okay. I won't accept my... Okay, when she gets her thing, we'll keep it going. Okay, got it. Okay, fabulous. And now she's signed in or not. It's still loading. Okay. Once you're loaded, you should be... Let me know when this is loaded. Okay. Okay. So now we're all good. Everybody good? I'm going to assume everybody's good because nobody's saying you're not good. Yeah, fabulous. <laughs> So now we're gonna go back over to our screen share. All right, back over here. And let's talk a little bit about the two. Okay, so here's the Creator Studio. Has everybody logged into the Creator Studio? Yes. Gonna... Okay. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, let's look at how to log into Facebook Creator Studio. Hold on, stop, share, it's gonna make me do this. I'm gonna share to my... Google Chrome, share. Okay, so to get into your creator studio, you have to do business.facebook.com slash creator studio. Yes, so what happened was they used to have the creator app. You guys remember this a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. only for certain people. And then in 2020, they created the creator studio. Whoa. Oh, good, how are you? Good, good. I just logged on. I'm kind of behind, so I'm listening, but I don't know who we're recording in progress. I need like that. Like quiet. Somebody. Yeah. Like quiet. Somebody. Yeah. Hold on. Who, who just needs so to be saying right now to log yes. that you need? Our Bernadine is the culprit. Studio. Right. Becky. There it is. Ford's Got it. Creator studio. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. <laughs> So business.facebook.com forward slash creator studio forward slash well, I have home, but that gets you to the creator studio. Okay. Now what you'll notice is you have Facebook creator studio. And if you've linked this and we'll talk about this, you have it also for Instagram. Aha. So what happened is business.facebook.com. This started first. They decided to create this whole new business suite. Remember, we all went in. Everybody can see this, right? Can you guys see this? Yes. Okay, good. So remember, you have to link also. If you don't link your Instagram with your Facebook, you won't see both combined. Okay? So if you have not linked your Facebook and your Instagram, you notice how I have both up here? You won't be able to see both. So you don't have to necessarily do that if you choose not to, but you won't be able to see both if you um, don't link them. Okay, so that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but you have to make sure first off that you set up your business suite to make sure that all these things work, right? So we already went through, that's in another training that you can go back to. So you wanna to go to your tools, you wanna to go through your settings, you wanna make sure you set up your business suite first. Then what we're gonna focus on today is our creator studio. And this is, I think, probably one of the fun things that we get to do. So this is again, business.facebook.com slash creator studio, which you can know. No, that's not. Oh. <laughs> now you have creators. <laughs> uh, hold on. Sorry, guys. I got to get Susan on the creator studio. Hold on. There you go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not creators, it's creator studio. <laughs> If you go to creators, you get information about it, but you don't actually get the studio, right? And then you have to make sure that you can see all the pages that you manage on here, right? So that's kind of a cool thing too. So that's important. And then if you've linked, which we're gonna talk about your Instagram, you can click and switch and both will be able to be accessed right through this one page. Sweet, which I love. Um, if one of you wants to throw it up there, I don't throw it up there because when I do, it overwhelms the whole system and sometimes I crash. So it's up to you if you want to. If not, if you're all on, it doesn't matter. I usually make Tony do it, but Tony's not here. So we'll blame Tony for that one. Okay. So now we're going to switch our share and we're going to go back over here real quick to our PowerPoint. Now there's some super cool things that we can do in both right? So if anybody has any questions, just shout it out. But first, we're going to talk about the Facebook side. 
Right from your creator studio, you can create posts. You can create stories now. You can used to only be able to create posts. Now you can actually create stories. So that's really cool. That's a new addition to the creator studio. Um, you can create test posts. You can upload your videos. You can do multiple videos. You can also go live right from here which is cool, and then decide across which platforms you want it to go live on, which is pretty neat. Um, you can post across pages, video pages. So that's really cool. So you can, instead of having to do it and then share it, you can do it across multiple pages, which is pretty neat. Um, you can, now, if you have not linked your Instagram, you can go ahead and create that link now. Does everybody have both of them on there? So please tell me, I'm gonna go ahead and let's click back over to the Instagram right now. Does everybody see when you're looking at your creator studio, do you have the F and the Instagram? Do you have both? Yeah. Everybody in this room? Susan, do you? Oh no. Okay, let me see. I feel like I'm the dunce in the class. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I think both. Do I have you both? have okay, it, but is it linked is the question. I just want to find See, you have it, but it's you have to connect. Your okay, gotcha. Account. So, okay, so this is what happens. You have to connect it from here. Okay. So I'm going to steal your phone again. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm perfectly fine to this. Okay. So Susan has the, the, the opportunity here, but hers said she has to connect it. So when she clicked on it, it didn't show her Instagram. She had to connect it. So anybody else in my Zoom world here not connected to their Instagram? I am not connected. I have her, the exact same problem. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Take your phone. You're going to go into your Instagram account. You're going to click on the three dots. No, 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 no. Go back. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to go into your person. Click on your person. Click on the three lines. There you go. Click on settings, click on account. Then you're gonna hit sharing to other apps. Everybody with me? Now you're gonna click on Facebook and we're gonna continue as this one. Is that correct? Is that you? Yep, that's me. <laughs> I don't wanna continue to the wrong person, right? Maybe you have other apps. I'm doing this on my computer. Yeah, you can. I like it on the phone, whatever you want to do. Okay. And okay. then I'm going to say continue and add continue. And now we're adding your Instagram to your Facebook. And now when you post on one, it'll post on the other. Oh. And now they're connected. Turn on Facebook sharing, start sharing to Facebook. Yes. Okay. So your Instagram story, your Instagram post, you can turn them on and off if you want to. You can also do it from your Facebook page, your realtor page. You can do it from Harry's Heritage Village or not. So you can share to, you can pick which ones you want to okay. share to. So you can just click on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Heritage Village is a project I'm working on. So maybe before. you don't want to click at that. Okay, yeah. let me see. So you can pick which, if you have multiple pages you want to share to, automatically share your Instagram story, your Instagram post. You can do one, both, two, whichever one you want. And now you've got it all set up. So now we go back to your creator studio. Turn it around. Close, close that out. Oh. Continue. Close. No, that was right. Continue. Yeah. Did you continue? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's loading. Yeah, it's loading. And okay. Carrie. Yeah. Um, if so for for janet scott for example she has her main realtor remember we had all those issues with the way hers was set up so we created a new facebook page and named it the team so not only does she have her personal but she has her business and then the team facebook yeah so she can, can pick which connect? one huh she can pick which one she wants to connect to Okay, so you can't connect the Instagram to both the personal and, oh, you can? Yeah. Okay. But usually the auto post will not flow to your personal page is the problem. It'll only post to pages you man manage. It won't post to a profile. That's the one thing. Facebook will never auto post to a profile. Mm -hmm. 
my personal Facebook. That's surprising. I've never seen it ever post anything. And then I was like double posting. On your personal? That's exciting, really? Well, I was using different pictures so like I could see. That's exciting. It's actually posting to your personal profile. That's a new thing. Really? That's yeah, Creator cool. Studio Creator Studio will do it to your personal profile, but the business uh, studio only will, does it to the business. Yeah. Ah, I wonder why. That's exciting. They are changing so much stuff. That is something new. I will tell you that, biz, uh, as a matter of fact, they always put it out in all their marketing that they will never allow anything to auto post. Of course, it's within themselves, so they can always change their minds, right? But they would never usually auto post anything to your personal profile. But hey, if they're doing that, that's great. Now you can turn that off though. Yeah. And you just, you can just click on it. So you get to pick, it'll show all the things that you have and you click which ones you want it to auto post to. It's under when you link, link your accounts. You can always change it at any time. You can make it just your stories. You can make it, you know, like we just did your post, whatever you want it to be able to auto post to. But um, that's pretty cool. I like that. Nice. Listen, this is getting better and better. We got to love that, right? Great. Okay, everybody with me now? Yes, I had to do it through my phone. Thank you. Yeah, it, I've never done it through a computer. And to be honest, Instagram typically, I would say works best through your phone. Although I love what we're going to look at in a moment, which is the calendar opportunity from Creator Studio for auto posting for Instagram. I like it better than plan only. And it's also free. And so who doesn't love that? So we're gonna look at that too. Sure. All right. Mm -hmm. I have mine connected already on my Instagram. Yep. But it gives me when I try to do it on here. I get Share Instagram with Facebook page members. You can manage. Okay. Let's see. You say okay. Uh, so connect your account. Okay. That's weird. Why is that? What does it say on your Instagram account? Look at my Instagram. It's, it's already connected. It's already connected. I've already so been, weird. Whenever I post on Instagram, it automatically posts onto my page. So I don't know why I get that. I don't know why you're getting that either. Okay, cool. <laughs> Super sweet. You know, just for fun, let's add it to your personal page for a second. Sure. Um, let's add it to both, right? Let's. Oh, maybe because you. Let's just try it with your personal. Let's see. Connect to your account. That's weird. Oh, you know what? You might because your pop-up window blocked. You have an ad blocker on? I don't think so. See pop-up window block? Mm -hmm. Go back to your business ones. You got some weird things, Rafe. They don't like you. Facebook does not like Rafe. There's definitely something going on with that. You really do. Okay, any other questions? Is everybody else set up? Okay, let's go back and look at... All right, this PowerPoint real quick. We're gonna talk. So once you have set this up, there's some really awesome features. We can look at some great things in the Instagram side where you can look at your content library, which is fabulous. You can, I love the insights. You can totally look at the insights. We're gonna look at that. And I love the calendar. So the really cool thing with the Creator Studio is that you can toggle between Facebook and Instagram. Hey, Alejandro, didn't even see you pop in. So you totally snuck in. So let's go ahead and start playing in both of these. Oops, participants, something weird happened there. Let's share this screen here to wrong one. Stop share. You got do, it? Do, do. You got it? Yeah. Pop it was the pop-up blocker. Okay, guys. So if you ever have anything really weird and random, ask Grape. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> it could be a pop-up blocker. That's what he had. So let's take a quick peek and look at Instagram first, shall we? Um, Instagram, the really cool thing is this insights. So as we talked about, we want to see how well your, your videos are doing, right? So take a look. It looks at here. Look at this. From this last video, by the way, this is one where I said, um, see how, um, it was an Aura one. Vote for me with Aura. You know, one of those things. Because as you know, I had a campaign. Whatever. Anyway, um, two people went to my website. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I had 25 people visit my profile. People wanted to know, should I vote for this crazy lady? 
<laughs> and I know it wasn't you guys because you guys all voted early. Because <laughs> that one, this one we're looking at, I posted like Friday. So that's pretty interesting, right? Um, and two from the previous seven days, they looked twice. So they're, they're really checking, like they can tell who these people are, if they're going back, looking at it again. Um, if they texted or emailed, I mean, it's pretty interesting. They can tell. So there was 27 actions taken on my account from this one particular little video that I did, which is pretty interesting. Um, this one, 80 people, this uh, little video I did, I had 163 impressions from this vote for me video. Well, because it tells you the metrics about the day that I ran it. Yeah. So this, and I knew when I ran them the, <laughs> because uh, I was looking through also too what's really cool is you can look at your calendar see and you can see the videos you can look at the video that you posted see you can see the interactions you can see how many accounts you reached what percentage of people I reached that weren't following me how many impressions how many people were at home how many people were, were on my profile how many people work from other places how cool is that then I can play my video again, which I don't think we need to, because I think we all saw it plenty of times. Because <laughs> on, <laughs> on every platform, because Alejandro said I had to, and he said, "Carrie, you have to do it every day." And I said, "Do I really have to do it every day?" And he said, "Yes." Yes, he did. He said, "You should have told me earlier. I would have been your campaign manager." And I said, "I should have, because I hate this stuff." <laughs> next time but anyway so that's another way you can tell this is what i love look at this calendar view it's so cool you can look and see i've posted two videos that day right so i could go back and see all and look at the videos it's not showing all of my videos too oh wait it's still loading that's weird i don't know why it's not showing all my videos but anyway so that was weird. Not sure what that was about. Anybody playing with me on that one? That was, I don't know what that was. Was someone talking? It was really weird, wasn't it? It was like someone was talking. It's like, Club Carrie. It was, 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 what? It's Club Carrie. It's like, yeah. Weird. Yeah. It was, it was scarier than what it was. I'm, I'm really scared. Okay. So this is also, which is really cool. Um, you can also see your audience. So, you know, it tells you which followers, what age group they're from, what percentage are men and women. Huh, thank goodness, more women than men. All right, not very close though, very close. I don't know. I did get some creepy little text messages from guys. I don't know, I was a little bit worried about that. It's a little weird. Um, and then also what days that people were following me on, which is interesting, isn't that? pretty interesting. So I could see based upon my followers, if I should post more on certain days than other days, because I could see um, what days my followers are on, which is kind of cool. And really weird. I have people from Nigeria that are following me. Only 2% of my followers are from Nigeria. Not sure <laughs> who seen. they are, I've but do you? Yeah. Um, and I don't think they're members of Aura, so I'm not <laughs> sure what that was about. But I have 2% Philippines. Do you? Maybe I have Belgium and South Korea. I had this cute little, like, look like a doctor. I don't know. He also, he's 12. So I'm not really sure. Reach out to me from South Korea and asking me if I'm a real estate agent. A little weird. But anyway, I didn't respond to him. But um, yeah, but this is really great data, guys. Because if we're, remember, we're talking about who is my audience? What am I trying to say to them? What am I trying to reach? This tells you everything. When is a good time to post to them? What am I trying to say, right? You have it all right here. How cool is that? I think now monetization, listen, if you want to make some money off your things, like I can't tell you about that. I haven't really delved into that, but you know, it's got all that on there too. So this is a really, really great way. The other cool thing too, again, to your point, if you want to look through your content library, you can have an overview right from your content library who liked it, if, you know, what's published. You can kind of click on it right from here and go into your analytics from here too. Um, you can see your stories, your, so you can kind of break it down right from your library as well. Um, and you can create your post right from here. You could do Instagram feed or the IGTV right from here, which is pretty cool. I like that as well. But the other really cool thing is when, let's say you wanted to create an Instagram post right from here, right? You can, you know, have your 
um, tags all set up, whatever you want to say. So, you know, you, we know what we want to, we want to do our keywords everywhere. So we can decide what kind of hashtags we want to use, right? We want to do our hashtag finders so we can have that stuff already pre-copied, right? So we have our grouping depending on what we're trying to do. So we just copy and paste it, right? The location thing, I don't really know, unless you're kind of doing a video. Right. Well, that's, you know, where you're going to put that here in your, your, your caption, right? You're adding your content here. So you can choose photos or videos, whatever you want to post. You can add it right there, which is great, right? But you can also then select. So let's just add something here. Let's file upload. You can also take it from your Facebook page, but I don't see what point, especially for auto posting, right? <laughs> because it's going to go there anyway. So let's take something from, uh, let's do photos and videos. Let's do, what is this? Let's just do a little, oh, let's do this one. This is a good one. 212 degrees. I love this little one. All right, I don't know. Is it adding it? Video is too big. Okay, or too large. Crap, I can't add that one. Upload, let me just do a video instant real quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, okay. This one is good. All right, here's one. All right, so you can see, this is one, this is a Sotheby's one, right? These are the awesome little video instances that we do. Okay, let's say I put up here what I wanted to say about it. I don't know, I've got nothing off the top of my head, but this is a cool thing, guys, down here, I can schedule this and I can pick the date and time that I want this to run just like you could off of buffer, just like you could off of anything. This is just like Planoli. This is great. So just- Sorry, I, Yeah. I have, a, I have a quick question but before I have to head out, but so I have been in Creator Studio before. I've had, yeah. I've done, I've scheduled out posts for the weeks, uh, the, the week, so I don't have to do it while I'm busy. Yep. My, I, I don't know if this has changed, but how do you, I see how you're scheduling and I used to schedule them. Yep. But how do you, is when I would click both schedule Facebook and Instagram, yep. I find that they didn't go at the same time on the schedule. So it, do you have to, while you're in Instagram, where we're at right now, mm -hmm. you have to schedule here. And then when you're in Facebook, schedule at the same time. You would change or, it. Yeah. Or did they change it? Since yeah. You would go into the post in Facebook and then just change it if you wanted it at a different time. That you wanted a different time, right? No, same time. So like and it would automatically go at the same time. It's already preset at the same time to go. Right now, that's how they do it. They post at the exact same time. So like okay, so that's changed. Okay. Yeah. Thank God. Okay. Mm -hmm. That yeah, wasn't no, like, the way before. And it oh. I'm just asking. Yeah. You know, some things I don't want on both. So I just wanted to like verify when you schedule, does it automatically go out to both because they're owned by the same now? Or do you have to go into both? different categories to do it no nope. as long to. as you have it linked it goes to both at the same time if you don't want it to then unlink whichever pages you don't want it to go to got it you with me did i lose you no i don't know who that is but wow Okay, that was a weird one. Okay, somebody. Who is that? <laughs> Alejandro, it really doesn't sound like you, really. So that's really funny. Okay. All right. So everybody good with that um, posting? And the really cool thing is too, you can post your IGTV up here too. So remember the point of the IGTV is that's supposed to compete with YouTube. So to that point, if we're creating videos for YouTube, right? You can upload that same video you're doing on YouTube here. We're not saying recreate the wheel and create 50 different videos. Use your same video, put it here too and see where it does better because you could check out the analytics in both. You could check out the analytics in the YouTube channel. They have great analytics in YouTube and you could check out the analytics here. Again, you're going to be capturing a different audience, right? That's the whole point. The people who are watching it on IGTV and, and uh, Instagram are not the people who are looking at it in, Google, in uh, YouTube. It was, it was, it was, it was. 
It's horrible. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, so that is a really cool um, thing that I, I just really think it's a very, also too, you know, you could choose the kind of content. If you want to do carousels, if you want to do your stories, you could do it all right here, which is great. So I just feel like um, it's a really great way to quickly set up your Instagram. If you're like, okay, I want to do my Instagram. I think that plan only is neat, but it just is very light if you use the free version. And I think that this is heavy. It's got a lot more tools and resources and it's in one place. So you could do the Facebook right here next to it, right? So it's just much easier. So that's my suggestion. Any other thoughts about that? Are we good with that? Okay, I'm gonna move on to the Facebook if you're cool because there's some really cool things about the Facebook Creator Studio that I love. One thing I really wanna talk about, they also have great insights too. Um, and you can look at your pages insight. You can look at your audience here, which is a really cool thing to take a peek at. Again, I, I get that question a lot with Facebook about your audience. Um, you can see who you're engaged, you know, people are, who's looking at your content, you know, what ages are they, what, um, what group are they, what's the retention. So, you know, based on the pages, you pull up the pages that you want to look at, where are the people coming from? See, look at this, who's recommending your pages? How long are they staying on your pages? These are awesome. This is the same kind of look, you know, what days are they spending most time on these? The average minutes are they watching it? You know, what are they really spending time on? How are they, uh, what kind of things are they engaging with? What is performing best? I mean, this is terrific to tell you what kind of content is really doing well on your pages. But there's some really great things. For example, you could go to your, um, your videos and if you go to your content library, right? Instead of posts, let's go under content library and let's go to videos. And you can cross post videos, first of all. So you can share them on different platforms. But the other cool thing is you can repost a video. And let's say you repost a video. You can give it new uh, descriptions. You can give it new hashtags, right? You can give it a whole fresh look, right? But when you repost that video, you know what it stays with it? the number of views. So let's say you got 5,000 views. Now you repost it, you get more views, it gets that on. Now next month you repost it again, now maybe you're up to 6,000 views. So it reposts with 6,000 views. So now you get more. So that's a really great way. So um, I was watching this thing. I love Mary Smith. If anybody watches her, she is a Facebook I don't know, she's hired by Facebook to do their business, something or other, but she does all sorts of great things. She's always posting really interesting things about Facebook, what's coming new, what are they really focusing on? Like when Creator Studio came out, remember, Creator was an app that was, oh, by the way, there's a Creator Studio app. Did anybody download it? So you can actually do the Creator Studio app right from your phone. So you can schedule your posts, check out your insights instead of doing it on, because a lot of people don't like to do this stuff on their computer. They'd prefer to do it on their phone, right? So you can download the app. It's exactly the same thing right from your phone. So you don't have to do this stuff from your computer. So I did download that last night as well. But um, you know, one great thing that you know uh, she was saying too, when they started with the creator studio that was just in january of 2020 and you know the whole idea they're always coming up with new things to get people to use it and when they do that they give you better algorithms from using the tools that they're giving you so when you, that's why they started adding the opportunity because they want you to use video right and they want you to use creator studio so by allowing you to repost it through creator studio they're allowing you to keep your views on there, which helps you to build your audience, right? You can't do that normally, right? You have to do Creator Studio to do that. Why do they do that? Because they want you to use Creator Studio. So that's what they do. They have these little special, you know, it's like if you did a video game, you know how they have those little things you can level ups or whatever. I don't know, I don't play video games, but those little special things you win. I don't know, my kids like them, whatever they are. Bonus things, whatever. 
They give you bonus things when you do the things they tell you they want you to do. So by using the Creator Studio, they're allowing you to use the views that you've already gotten and build from that. So there's this one person who has like, I don't know, 20,000 views now on a video because he posts it every month. So, which is great. He gives it a fresh look. He gives it new content, says something different about it. But every month he posts the same video. It gets some added views, but every month now it's growing. So how much does that look when it looks like he's like, holy cow, this guy's, this thing has got 20,000 views. It didn't have 20,000 views the first time he posted it. <laughs> but after how many months it does, that's pretty cool. It is interesting. So every, you know, I try to watch her stuff and kind of keep an eye on what she says because she already knows what, what Facebook's like coming out with new and what they're offering to people to do that's a little added bonus like that kind of thing. So um, one of the things that they had been talking about was with groups that, that Facebook really wanted people to start using groups, that they were gonna be able to start um, boosting through groups and things of that nature. I've not seen that being a, a possibility yet. So I don't know if they changed their mind. That's the other thing, like Facebook changes their mind like the wind. So who knows what's gonna happen with all of that. But Creator Studio, they keep adding more stuff to it. Um, but I have to say probably some of my favorite things are the insights. And now obviously what you can do with the video because we love video. So if you create a YouTube video, the other really cool thing you can create in here, has anybody gone to series? Let's take a peek. It's in it's under do, 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 series. So you could take, like, let's say you created a video on YouTube and it was, well, actually, Amanda, you created a really cute one. I, I liked it. It was on your Instagram about pools or something about what was it, the top three things in Orlando? Top fundraising. Yeah, I'm going to look at it. Was it Instagram? And then I downloaded it. Did you put it on YouTube? There's only 11 seconds. Okay, let me go to Facebook. Right I I okay, so if I go to your Facebook page, will I see it? Yeah, that's the problem. See, the problem about Facebook is exactly that. If I go to Facebook, will I find it somewhere? It's a third post. Okay, is it on your personal page? Okay, let's take a look. At what Amanda did after watching coming to our YouTube training. This is it. Okay, let's turn it up. Let's make sure we have volume on here. The brief on reasons I used to move to Florida. One, our pools are open all year. They don't close here. Two, special rates to go to a theme park. And three, the leaves aren't falling here. <laughs> <laughs> so no raking <laughs> anybody from up north will appreciate that oh, wow. i hated freaking raking that was the worst <laughs> i did like jumping in the leaves though when i was a kid that was fun but the raking sucked <laughs> so super cute so this could be part of a series Right. I loved that. The top three fun reasons to move to Florida. Now you might do in the next one, the top three things you have to know before you move. Get used to the heat. Start going to the sauna now because you're going to have to be prepared. Right. <laughs> like you can do some fun things like you can make it funny. Right. So but I think it, you could create a whole little series about that. Then you can come into your creator studio and then start your series. Control the experience. The top three things that, the, you know, the best, whatever the case may be. Now, let's go to Alejandro's. Did you paste it on your Facebook page or your YouTube? Where did you put that awesome video? Um, it's on Instagram, but it's on my Facebook. Okay, your personal or your business? Junior? Yeah. Okay. I know everybody has so many pages, right? Can everybody see what I'm sharing, by the way, online? Everybody there? Anybody give me? I don't even. I can't even yeah. see anybody else. Well, yep, okay. Everything's good here. Yeah. You. Okay. We can see you. You're always open, Alejandro. I love that. And you cost only two dollars. You should have a dollar sign. I know you should have made it like four or something. I mean, I don't I don't know what that should mean. I'm like, you're two dollars. Like, is that a lot or a little? I'm I'm just not really sure. What do you guys think? I don't, I don't know. I'm like, okay. Well then let's start this from the beginning and let's Okay. 
and anticlimactic. Okay. This is Alejandro with Premier Sotheby's International Realty. And today I am at my office here in Dr. Phillips, and I'm gonna be showing you one of the top communities here in Central Florida. And quite frankly, one of my favorite ones, the Keens Point community. To give you a brief background, the community gets its name from R.D. Keene, who was well known in the field of citrus. Many homes were built in the 1990s and up and are spread throughout 14 unique villages. Throughout the community, you will notice many home designs such as traditional, modern, Spanish Mediterranean, just to name a few. As an owner, your lifestyle will be that of peace and tranquility with the community's playgrounds, pavilion, green spaces, your community dock, and a 24-hour man-gated gate for your security. The location of the community is ideal as it is minutes away from downtown Windermere, Restaurant Row and Dr. Phillips, the theme parks, and the Tippett Butler Preserve, all while backing up to the famous Butler chain of lakes. I cannot forget about one of the biggest highlights of the Keens Point community. That with an exclusive membership, you'll be able to enjoy the tennis courts, the community pool, the restaurant, and of course, the renowned 18 hole Jack Nicholas design course. And that is the Golden Bear Club. Now, an important note that I want to mention is that because of the amenities, because of the lifestyle that you will be able to enjoy here, when it comes time to resell your property, there will be many buyers that will want your lifestyle. In fact, per MLS stats, there have been more homes sold in the Kings Point community in 2021 than there have been in 2020. for allowing me to show you what your life could be like here at the Keens Point community. So whether you're looking to start a new chapter or end the chapter here at the Keens Point community, I only hope that I can be part of that transition with you. But until then, enjoy the Florida lifestyle. Hey guys, you got it in. How long did that take? Well, considering it's <laughs> like a 90 something degree weather, and he wasn't using a putter. I know. Using a pitching wedge. Just relax, just relax. So, what do you guys think? Anybody on uh, on our little Zoom here? Anybody like that? Anybody have comments about any of these two two totally different videos? Two totally different takes two totally different opportunities my voice i think yours is a youtube video yeah, that's what I'm, I'm that is a youtube video you know did you do keywords everywhere well i'm trying to do keywords everywhere and i'm also doing uh trying to set up a youtube ad yes a youtube ad okay that's great but that's a keywords everywhere now that would also be great on a, on a social media, but really, I think that's a keywords everywhere. You could do it as a Facebook ad campaign. I would upload a custom list for your Keens Point people because those are people who are gonna really like that too. You know, that's awesome. Amanda, I loved yours. This is a total social media video for sure. And I think it could be a part of a really fun series. I love it, it was great. Anybody else wanna share any of the videos that they've been doing? Nobody. Rafe? I haven't done any. You need to do one. <laughs> <laughs> have you done any no. okay anybody online oh i got some chats okay what do we got carrie i'm sorry i have to go okay no problem <laughs> she says i don't want you okay oh yes okay absolutely uh there we go um anybody okay so let's go back on over to our share then and 
share a couple other really cool things that we have here. Let's go back to do, do, do Google. Okay. So uh, back over here to Creator Studio. So another really cool thing that you want to think about when you're doing this um, is, there we go. The sound collection, which I think is pretty cool. Has anybody been using their sound collection? Remember, if you're doing videos, this is really, really important. Um, you can't use uncopyrighted music. And if you're doing them for, for listings, obviously we're gonna check it and make sure you give us the copyright information and we have the, the music database or we get it from your videographer. But when you're doing these kind of videos and you're posting them on social, who's asking you? Nobody. So if you start using music that's not copyright and somebody finds out that it's a copyright infringement, you could get sued. So I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but of course that's my job. <laughs> So I just want to bring out, and that's why I want to, we have online all sorts of music available to you, but they also have through the creator studio, and this is why I love it, a sound collection of all different types of genres. They have different moods, some with vocals, some without, you can take a look and you can use even sound effects if you want to use different sound effects, which is super cool. So if you want to have Whistler waves, what is that? Oh, love it. <laughs> Uh, chorus radio waves. That's weird. A UFO blaster. Drums. Oh, a horror scream. Halloween coming up. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, I love that. Trying to sell your home by yourself. Oh, I lost it. So anticlimactic. Try it again. Trying to sell your home by yourself. <laughs> that could just be fun. <laughs> right? Thought you could handle a contract in this crazy market? Oh, come on, anticlimactic. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, one more, one more. Let's try one more, one more. Ready? Let's see. Let's do one like, huh? Yeah, I know. I was just going to try to come up with something to say. Um, oh, want to rely on a local buyer who needs an appraisal? <laughs> Guys, a series could be really fun. Didn't think you needed to rely on the global market and a cash buyer because you thought it'd be okay to go with an appraisal? <laughs> Very easy to show our value proposition with a fun video series, right? Feel free to give us a call. <laughs> What's another harsh scream? <laughs> Evil laugh. I think mine's better. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> These are weird. But anyway, there's really cool ones. So, oh my gosh, this is hysterical. Think your marketing is good by printing it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Let's see. I love to say, think that open door can get your home sold. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. So there's all sorts of really cool things, but um, you can use these. These are the great thing about it is because they're here, they already have all the copyright that you need. So you could add it to either, you know, any kind of the Instagram movies. If you wanted to do something that you wanted to add up here, you can also add it to, of course. Now, also, if you're using iMovie, they have all sorts of really cool stuff, music and stuff already copyrighted as well. And um, Tony, what was that? Um, the uh, app that you had said that you could pre-record and then it goes live. I forgot to, uh, I put that in the thing before and then I didn't take it down. One something, but I don't remember. Tony, are you there? Tony, or maybe he dropped off because he had to come. Oh, what is it? It's one something. I don't even remember. Did anybody remember? One stream dot live. One stream dot live. Okay, so we we might want to um we might want to put that one. Okay. I'm gonna add it in my notes here. So one stream dot live. Let's do this. Got live? Yeah. Okay, I'll take a look at that one too, guys, for next time. But they probably also have music and editing, I'm sure, too. So we can look at that. But the key is 
these are all built in for you. So please don't go rogue and start taking music from other places. Uh, I see online all the time, especially TikTok, people using music, like real songs. That's a huge copyright infringement. Now, if somebody has a post and you're just sharing it, yeah, but sometimes they're real songs. Does that mean it's copyright? I don't know. Well, they have a music library. Yeah, but if it's if it's really a song, like by an artist, do you know that it's copyright? I don't know. I don't know. But if you do like a real video, and you put in that music, they have different options. Right, but let's say it's a real, like a Beyonce song. I don't think she gave TikTok the copyright to use her. Yeah. I think that there's like little, they won't let you pick them if they're something. Like there's a yeah. selection. It, it only like, allows you to select like so snippets of the song. Yeah, can't play snippets the of the song. song. Yeah. Okay, and they have the copyright for those. I don't know. I, I'm I, just I, gonna say I, be I don't careful. Know. I just, I just all I'm gonna say. Know. Listen, I don't know, but my husband keeps playing that the Applebee song and it's driving me insane. I'm, <laughs> but I know because that guy is in it, so I know that you can use that song. But I mean, I'm just saying that I've seen on Facebook, especially. I think what you're probably referring to is like if you're doing a video and you have in and, the video like your phone playing music yes that you've added exactly because it is on like the music library mm -hmm. that you can yeah. use it no so i'm saying like that you have added a soundtrack that you have that you had yeah, on your phone yeah. yeah for example like if you bought on itunes a soundtrack of a music that you love that doesn't mean you could use it on your you didn't buy the copyright to use it in your social media you bought it to listen to yeah. so are there ways to extract that and put it in here absolutely but it doesn't mean you have the copyright to do that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yes, like absolutely. Like people, they do the video, but then they don't, like in the video itself, there's like music playing. Yeah, they play the music and they dance to it. That's exactly. What That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no, no. So, so they have an actual library. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. That's what I think. Yeah, no, you, you, you can see them playing the music and they're dancing and doing all sorts of interesting things. So, so anyway, all I'm saying is be very careful about that because copyright infringement is huge. So just know that this is here for you under creative tools. I love that one too. But I just wanted you to be really familiar with some of these really cool tools here that are available for you on the Creator Studio. Does anybody have any questions in regards to, I think everybody's set up now for the Instagram as well as the Facebook. Are we all good? Yeah? Has everybody yep. been set up? Yeah. Oh, uh, yep. All connected. Thanks. Yeah. Everybody been set up on the business.facebook.com so that you can do ads. Yes. Thank you. Okay, great. So we are all good. So next, um, next week will be a sales meeting on Thursday because it's the first of the month. So that'll be great. And then I want to be doing uh, business meetings because October starts our business meeting. So we want to start doing business meetings with everybody to really plan out how we're going to do this. I really want to make sure that we're including social in each of your business plans, whether it's YouTube, whether it's whatever makes you comfortable, makes you happy. But if you don't have social as part of your business plan, you're missing out. It's a great way to get out there and include your increase your sphere. And we're gonna do some more on YouTube because I really feel like YouTube is a huge opportunity that we haven't done much with. So everybody good with that? All right, well, thanks for coming on. I got done three minutes early. I'm so proud of myself. Awesome. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for hopping on. You too.